Mawlana Sheikh, he was in his mission all the time. And his mission it was to save as much as people from the hand of Shaitan. Yeah, and he, he was all the time opening his house, his table, his food, his heart, his, his family for people that they come. And we've been receiving guests all our life. We are uh, trying to be humble as much as we can uh, because in, in, in Tasawwuf uh, it is not presenting yourself, uh, it is only showing the present of Allah Almighty and present of Rasul Allah and the present of your master. So below that it is like uh, you be worker. So this is this is the idea about tasawuf. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, we are uh, the son of Maulana Sheikh Nazim, and we are. Uh, four uh, children of Maulana Sheikh Nazim and my mother Haja Amina that she is the mother of all of us we call her Haja Anna that means she is the mother of the Murids also so this is her title so when the wife of the master she will be the mother of whole Murid so they used to call her Hajanne. And my mother, she have five kids. And number one, it was Haja Naziha. She is the wife of Sheikh Hisham. And she is in America. And after that, she we have my brother, Sheikh Mohammed, and he is the Sheikh, the successor of Maulana Sheikh, and the new master of Tariqa Naqshbandiya. And after him, there was one sister called Khadija that she passed away at the age of two and a half, very, very young. And after her, I am the number three child of Maulana Sheikh that I born in 1963. And I born in 14 of June. That's I am Gemini, very, very Gemini. <laughs> and uh, after me, there is my younger sister, Hajarukiya, that she is now in Lefke. That she is, we call her the successor of my mother, Hajanne. That she was long years with my mother. And this is like our family uh, structure. We all of us born in Damascus, Shamu Sharif, we call it Shamu Sharif. And we all of us born Jabal Kasyun, that mountain of Kasyun. And this is holy mountain that being Habil and Kabil, that Habil being killed by Kabil there. This is the mountain. And there was a uh, makam for them. And the, see the mountain was dropping crying tears. It is there. All the time this mountain having tears dropping. And they call it the tears of the mountain because this is the first crime happening in the history. Damascus, it is my birthplace, and all my mother family that was there. Actually, my father uh, family that was in Cyprus, so 
when uh, grandfather passed away, my, my father, he was not married yet. Uh -huh. uh, and for grandmother, when she passed away, she passed away in Istanbul. And we've been very small okay. those days. Yeah. Yeah, we, okay. maybe we've been one year, two years old, I think. So Maulana Sheikh, he was only one in, in Damascus as his family. My mother family, it was, she have one sister and have two brothers. And we have the grandfather and the grandmother that they are my mother, uh, father and mother. So we have like a small community that we have uh, different childhood, like it was really uh, uh, nice childhood. That was a street, there's nothing else. <laughs> you were a bit... I was a little bit naughty boy in <laughs> my childhood. I didn't like to stay at home, so I was all the time in the street. Uh, playing with the gang in the street, all children. So we've been like uh, six, seven years old children. And it was uh, fun. It was like uh, releasing uh, energy. We've been playing football. I, I was playing. It was, yeah, I was active. I was active. Uh, I was running, never, and I was never walk. I was all the time running, and all my feet it was uh, having a lot of uh, damages also <laughs> because of running. <laughs> you see my ear. <laughs> <laughs> so. He was like normal father, also giving us uh, the good way and teaching us the bad way. So he was uh, treating us as the father. So he was not only sheikh, he was our father, he was our sheikh, he was our master. So uh, the main uh, point here, it was my mother. So, so my mother, she was teaching us to look for our father as not as ordinary father. Uh, she was telling, you have to be careful. He is your father. But at the same time, he is your master. At the same time, he is your sheikh. So be aware about how you deal with him. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, I never come like this with my father. I never shout on my father. I never come angry on my father. I never make any misbehavior to my father. Alhamdulillah, this is my, my I'm proud, I'm proud to say this. Yani I have my teenage, I have my young age, I have my grown up age, I have my idea, I have this. So when Maulana Sheikh say no, say okay. If it's no, it's no, finish. Never argue. Never fight, never not listening to him or not obeying him. I was trying to obey him as much as I can. Alhamdulillah, I done. Until now, I done. <laughs> we, you know, we being kids and the kids, uh, they are uh, all the time naughty. I was naughty boy, by the way. Uh, my mother, she was having patient for one year, one year patient. Exactly. If in one year I was doing everything, but after in one year she was beating me so nicely. <laughs> Very good. And this, when she hit me, I was one year okay. So it was taking one year of the value of beating. <laughs> Yeah. But it was until 11. After that, Alhamdulillah, we've been okay. But in the meantime, Maulana Sheikh, he was having, the Grand Sheikh, Maulana Sheikh Abdullah, 
that he was in our concept as a grandfather. So we call him Sheikh Tabeh. That means a grand Sheikh. And I have every morning uh, we used to have a chicken in the house and every morning I take the fresh egg to Grand Sheikh I was listening for the chicken it was upstairs and so when the chicken say kut, 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 ak, I run upstairs and I see the egg fresh, fresh egg I take it and my mother said where are you going I say I'm going for Grand Sheikh running all, all my life I was running I was not uh, walking I take the egg for Grand Sheikh and Grand Sheikh he oh this is fresh egg he break it and put it in the glass and drink it fresh Mashallah. say it is very fresh this one very good and he was giving me 10 kurush that means 10 cent or something like this so this was my my salary every morning mm -hmm. I go and take my <laughs> salary from Grand Sheikh and in the uh, afternoon Asr time Grand Sheikh he was sitting for tea it was like afternoon tea five o'clock tea as the english they say so i was also uh, waiting for that moment and immediately when i realized that moment i ran again to grand sheikh and i'll sit next to him in the table all the time and he was putting for him tea and he was putting for me tea so i was taking i was looking for him how he is drinking the tea so he have the teaspoon and he take a little bit honey and put in his mouth. But before put the honey in his mouth, he put it in the tea to make it melt. And then he put it in his mouth and then he drink the tea after it. So I was copying him exactly. I was taking a little bit of honey, put it in the hot tea and put it in my mouth. And then I drink the tea. Say, Grand Sheikh said, Oh, mashallah, mashallah, who teach you this one to drink like this? <laughs> you Sheikh Tede, you Sheikh Tede. I was telling him like this. <laughs> so, this is one of chapter of my uh, favorite uh, childhood. Normally, uh, when we've been child, Maulana Sheikh, he was uh, in duty all the time. So, as a Staying with us, it was like not as every father staying at house. Let's say father work from eight to five or he have work and he come. No, it was like Grand Sheikh, he was sending him abroad. He was sending him to Lebanon. He was sending him to Jordan. He was sending him to Iraq. He was sending him to some areas in Syria and he was sending him to Cyprus. So he was all the time outdoor. So normally yeah, he, he come with a big bag. <laughs> uh -huh. Yani, like sometimes uh, it is have some dresses. Sometimes it is have some uh, interesting things like um, radio with uh, tape. Uh, sometimes it is kind of uh, uh, Toys, sometimes, yeah, whatever the people they've been giving him as a present, he was bringing home. So we've been very happy to have this present. Plus, my mother, my mother, she was taking many of this clothes and dresses for our nephews in 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 Damascus. So she was giving everyone, every family. Present, so it was not only us the one that we've been having benefit from the present. Also, the family of my mother also they was having from this uh, presents.
we have our zikr in, in Jabal Qasun in the mosque of Grand Sheikh every Friday after Asr until Maghrib. So it was like taking about two hours. And then we have food. And the food, it was one of the uh, selection. And we have uh, Uncle Abu Abdullah. That's been, uh, he was uh, one of the murid of Maulana Sheikh Abdullah. He is uh, animal uh, merchant. So he was coming every Friday for uh, Zikr. And then if Maulana Sheikh, he is there, he tell him, tomorrow you are invited to my house for dinner. So we all the murid go for his house and he was making us very beautiful, lovely a food. And his house, it was in the middle of Damascus, area called Maidan. This is very old uh, street, very old uh, area. And with this area, there was so many of Ahlul Bayt a graveyard. All the children of the prophets, they've been buried there. And plus, next to it is Bilal al-Habashi, also Maqam is there. So it is this area, it is holy area, by the way. But uh, it is like old houses. It's a small roads, but when you enter the houses, it's Arabic houses, so huge houses. So, so we've been having very nice uh, dinner, and he used to give me uh, also 10 lira, 10 pound. Oh, I was like, wow, it is so nice uh, for me. So I was very happy with that money. <laughs> <laughs> spending, 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 never finishing. <laughs> <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين the time of Grand Sheikh, Grand Sheikh, he was present him as his successor. Okay. So it was no need to say, oh, here I am, I am the oh. new Sheikh. No, it was automatically there. Mashallah. So Mawlana Sheikh, he was sitting already in this uh, maqam, in this uh, duty. He was knowing the value of his master. So if you know the value of your master, you behave in good behavior. So he was all the time uh, serious with his master. And even the master, he was having a lot of sense of humor. But Maulana Sheikh, when he even, they joked together, it was very... Uh, uh, how to say, uh, joke, but not going out of manner. Okay. So it was the relation master and uh, teacher. So never come, oh, you master, but you're my friend. No, mm -hmm. he never, he never done this. There's, I have one conversation, but it is not the one I know. Uh, I heard it, but it has been say by somebody and it is very 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 important conversation that you will like it a grand sheikh he was uh, an educated person maulana sheikh he was a university educated person that we are talking about uh, 40s so imagine somebody he is a chemical engineer and he is graduated from university in 40s this is like wow because those days 
somebody has said it today it's ordinarius professor yeah yani this is no doubt yes. <clears throat> plus maulana sheikh he was having education of islam all the islamic law sharia fiqh and uh, nahu and arabic uh, grammar all this he was really uh, uh, being studied from the good teachers very good teachers that they are specialists and in that geography it was the best of the best and maulana sheikh was a student of them so when he came to grand sheikh the grand sheikh he was telling him nazim efendi he was calling him nazim efendi Nazim Efendi, I am an educated person, he was telling him, Grand Sheikh. You are educated person and you are high education. You know, sometimes maybe I make mistake by my sohba or my uh, thing. So please, you correct me, he was telling him. And you know what Maulana Sheikh Nazim was? He said to him, we are here to learn from you, master. We are not here to correct you. Mashallah. See, this is, this is that, like the highest delicacy can be giving to your master. You know? So this is one of the, my favorite uh, conversation with uh, Grand Sheikh and Maulana Sheikh. We've been in Cyprus, and Maulana Sheikh he was in Cyprus. So we've been in another uh, city or village, and he was in the capital. So the news of Grand Sheikh that he passed away, it came. And from Cyprus to Damascus or to Beirut, there was one flight. From Cyprus to Damascus, it was one flight a month. But for Beirut, it was one flight a day. Every day they have one flight. So Maulana Sheikh, he catch the flight that is goes to Beirut. And when he went to Beirut, he couldn't find anybody to receive him because everybody went to Damascus for the funeral. So Maulana Sheikh, he have to take taxi. And in the way from Beirut to Damascus, it's about 100 kilometers of the way. But because it's have mountain and uh, it's like taking a few hours. Maulana Sheikh, uh, the taxi being broken in the road. So he couldn't reach the funeral that it should be at uh, Zuhur time. So hardly he managed to be in Asr time in the funeral. So when he went to the funeral, they say, we are waiting for you, Maulana Sheikh. So they've been waiting for Maulana Sheikh. And uh, Maulana Sheikh Abdullah, he been buried in his mosque. He have a small mosque, masjid. They bury him there. He take everybody out of the mosque. He say, I have a special conversation with Maulana Sheikh. All of you leave. They they left. So they've been waiting outside of the mosque. He was with him 45 minutes alone with the Grand Sheikh. When the Grand Sheikh finish, he finished his duty from him. He opened the door and said, now we can bury the Grand Sheikh. All of them, they've been crying. Maulana Sheikh, he was smiling and laughing. He was happy. And they say, why? We are all of us crying for Maulana Sheikh and you are happy. I say, you have to see the receiving that being received to Grand Sheikh. You cannot be sad for his receiving. He was received as a king coming to the heaven. So Mashallah. that's why I'm happy for his receiving. And I see his receiving. And now it is time for him to be buried. So this is a small part of 
the funeral of Grand Sheikh also. <laughs> After the Grand Sheikh passed away, so uh, this is a tradition when your master passed away and you carrying his duty. So you have to have seclusion. So in 74, he have seclusion with my mom. And uh, we've been really, and I was with Sheikh Adnan and Rahmatullah Ali together in Tripoli. So we've been kids those days. I was like 11, going, visiting them and coming, visiting them every day, almost going, visiting them. But they was never speaking and never talking. Uh, it was very exciting how they've been uh, very silent because we've been sitting outside their room waiting for them and, and, and still uh, no noise and you know like small boy bored looking up cannot see your father you know so that was one of the the only seclusion I, I see Maulana Sheikh we've been so young those days because he stopped going Hajj in 1973. So I was 10. Uh, but he was having 27 Hajj before uh, he stopped. So normally uh, our real uh, uh, Together with Maulana was after eighties. Before eighties, it was, was uh, hard. So, whereas I was teenager, so I have to move to Lebanon, so to continue my study and to continue my uh, ideas as a work also, because uh, Syria those days it was under the hegemony of socialists. Uh, government so to make business or to establish things it was not easy so mm -hmm. Lebanon it was more liberal so we went mm -hmm. to Lebanon me and my brother so my brother actually he studied Sharia he studied Sharia but after that he went to Lebanon and he continued also studying but uh, mainly we, we, we went to business side so mm -hmm. the working it was more in our life but after that, uh, my brother, he have uh, early marriage uh, and his wife, first wife, she passed away and uh, it was dramatic things. So he have the second marriage, it was from Istanbul. But in the meantime, we left Lebanon, me and my brother, we, we have uh, together a business. So we sold our business and Maulana Sheikh ordered us to go out of Lebanon. So we went out of Lebanon in early 80s. Early 80s, then we've been together with Maulana Sheikh. But Maulana Sheikh, even though he was all the time going out of Cyprus. So England, it was his main place of Maulana Sheikh, that England, it was like, London, it was the capital of the world. So everybody is coming there. Even so many Argentinian brothers, they, they accept Islam in, in, uh, in London. Yeah.
Sheikh, he was in his mission all the time. And his mission it was to bring as much as people and to save as much as people from the hand of Shaitan, Satanas. Yeah, and he, he was all the time opening his house, his table, his food, his heart, his, his family for people that they come. And we've been receiving guests all our life. His worries mainly it was about the the people. His worries about how to save these people from the hand of Shaitan. His worries it about how to fix these people to be a good one. His worries it was just that was his worries. Then he he was not worries about how to eat, how to drink how to leave. No, it was say, Allah Almighty will never leave us without eating, drinking. Everybody have his own that Allah But his, as I say, his worries was, how can I fix these people? That was mission and worries. Yani Mawlana Sheikh, he was pure for his Lord. So we didn't see that he have activity. Like if we tell him you play tennis, he will say no, for example. <laughs> or you like to play chess, he will say no, for example. That's why he was purely, he didn't uh, like to uh, separate his heart for dunya hopis. So he was mainly for Mawla, that's mean with Allah Almighty. So anything, it is his. And Yani Mawlana Sheikh, he was good writer. And uh, he was uh, in love of book. So if we put it like this, his hobby it was to to read books. Yani he was in love of books. So whatever book he find, he was collecting. So yani he was mainly for book. Searching, he was searching, 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 and he was finding so many treasure from the books also. So his his activity and hobby is reading book. Let's say like this, Maulana Sheikh. With the money, uh, he was not good friend. So. So many people, they bring zakat, they bring hadiyah, they bring gifts, they bring... Yeah. So Mawlana Sheikh, he was accepting. He was not saying no. I tell you about my father. My father's family, it was from big family in Cyprus and very wealthy family is his origin. So when he met up with the Grand Sheikh, the Grand Sheikh, uh, he was going for Makam and he was making dua. So people that was putting money in his hand because he's Darwish, Sheikh. Uh, and when he was making dua, people, you know, put some money in the hand. And Mawlana Sheikh started to make dua like this, close hand. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, these people, they didn't use to take money from people from nothing. You know? So... And Grand Sheikh tell him, Nazim Efendi, you open your hand because people have to give. And he said, you have two hands. One your hand, people put here and other people take from here. So his system, it was after that, his hand is open. Who put, he put. Who take, who take. He doesn't count and he doesn't care. Whatever coming and whatever going. So this was the system of Maulana Sheikh that he have a book. Huh? His book, it Mashallah. was written just 
يعني uh, keeping he was written I give for this 300 I give for this 1000 I give for this 10000 so he was just read, written the giving one the one coming inside he was not <laughs> written only written the, the going out so he was all the time like this whatever coming to his he give it away so that's why we, so many people asking did maulana sheikh left any inheritance to you and our answer was no maulana sheikh he didn't give he didn't give us any material inheritance no money no land no houses no nothing but he gave us the biggest inheritance that he inherit us the murids that he was collecting by himself that around the world so we say we have very big family that maulana sheikh he give to us so this we are uh, not asking from people we are trying to give for people because maulana sheikh my father teach us to be a giver not to take her <clears throat> so whatever uh, it's come to us also we just turn it and give it to who in need or who is asking or what kind of service we like to do <laughs> Totally free. Maulana Sheikh actually he was very democrat. Yani he was uh, giving you the totally freedom that you do what you like. So Maulana Sheikh normally he was really democrat as as a, as a behavior. And Allah Almighty always sending his divinely people with divinely powers to change everything on earth. And I'm looking to him, he is one of them. interesting things about Maulana Sheikh. Uh, Maulana Sheikh, he cut off the speaking to us like 10 days before he go to hospital, before we put him in hospital. And that was a hard time. So we've been thinking uh, he will be able to continue or not to continue but in our belief that he will continue because we've been so sure and my brother he was coming from istanbul and he was uh, also there and then he have to go back to istanbul when he go back he salute my father and my father he was went up went from up down and sent him to the car and normally maulana was telling him we see you next time so like but my brother he tell me my father he didn't say anything he just give me his hand i kiss his hand and he turned and it was very sad moment for me this is my brother telling me so when Maulana Sheikh went to hospital, we've been about uh, 18 days in, in the hospital, 18 days. The last day we've been walking in the hospital garden just to release the stress and things like this. And me and my brother, normally we we we, we walk 10 people together but that night me and him only not 
any anybody else. I say, Yo, Shay Mehmet, uh, I feel very sad in one point. Say, I accepted that Allah Almighty will take uh, the soul, and we all of us we will be following. It is not, uh, but the thing that make me sad is, I am. Uh, not having proper goodbye to my father mm -hmm. then my brother he tell me you know I have the same feeling that we don't have the proper goodbye and we don't have the proper uh, salam say oh okay now we accept Allah Almighty whatever he is saying we finish the walk and then I went to take wudu. Mehmet Nazim, he pushed the door of the toilet and said, Baba, my grandfather, wake up. Because he was conscious. Wow, I was washing my right feet. Immediately I wash left feet and I run. I run in the elevator, I find my brother. Say, what happened? He said, very good news. Your father wake up. That's, that's good news. Alhamdulillah. Now so we can go home. We can go. We, we feel very high morale. That's it. We will take Maulana Sheikh home. We went to his room. We find him really wake up. But because he have the, the ventilator in his mouth because helping him to breathe. Say Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi. Say, and he was answering by blinking his eyes. He blinked his eyes, Alaikum Salam. I told him, You've been having long journey and you come for us. And he blinked his eyes. And then he said, I say, Inshallah, we will be together. And he blinked his eyes. I say, Behind me, my brother, Sheikh Mehmed also, he blinked in eyes. And before he blinked, he, my brother come, he was like this. So, and he lift his arm and give his arm for me to kiss his uh, hand like this. And the doctor was next to say, this is miracle. This is impossible. Is somebody to bring his arm in this situation and make you to kiss his arm. So I was kissing his arm, kissing it. And then I said, my brother, and he lift his arm to my brother also. And behind which was Nabil also. Everybody, and it was, this is like our goodbye. And in the morning, second day, he just departed. I was telling to my brother, look, he listened to us and he come back and he make a proper goodbye because he was delicate person. He was so beautiful that he hear us and he asked from Allah Almighty to bring his soul back and to be making proper goodbye. And it was the best moment in our life.
by the way, uh, we, we have a few things happening on those days. So I was like uh, the speaker on behalf of Maulana Sheikh. So I was making people to calm down. I was speaking for people to be obey Sheikh Mahmoud. And I was behind Sheikh Mahmoud, like to say, this is our master. This is Maulana Sheikh. He left him for us. And Sheikh Mahmoud, he was not speaking anything. And I was like being uh, uh, giving to speak, to speak, to speak, to speak. And I know that it was from my father that he made me to speak on behalf of him. Because the saint, it is, they are alive. They are alive. So they are alive and they can control you and they can make you to speak whatever they want. And we have period about 40 days that I was speaking and speaking and speaking. Finally, I was saying we have to do a book about this speech. And with Iberka family, we make a, a book called Legacy of Maulana Sheikh Nazim. This is quite uh, because we have also some argument and we have some fight in those days. So we make this book just to, to put uh, the things on writing also. It is called Legacy of Maulana. <laughs> yeah, I, I see my father in a dream, and I will tell you a funny dream about when I see Maulana Sheikh. I was sitting with him uh, in, in a big hall, and we've been laughing. Uh, having good time and uh, Maulana Sheikh laughing, I am laughing. It was like conversation going on. And then I realized, say, oh, Maulana Sheikh alive? <clears throat> I said, how come? I think Maulana Sheikh, he is not alive. He, he passed away. And I start to cry in the dream. And Maulana Sheikh, he looked at me. And he zapped me for another dream that nothing to do with his dream. <laughs> he threw me away from his dream. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear some, such a dream? <laughs> it was interesting dream of Maulana Sheikh zapping me from another dream. I say, send, send him, send him away. We don't want somebody crying here. Maulana, he is all the time giving advice to be a, a good one. So this is, he say, if you be good one, everything will be turned to be good for you. So this is how we are uh, trying to keep up and teaching people and teaching our children and to be a good one. How much we can be a good, that will be a good uh, things for us. So. This is how, how, we, how we are doing. Yani, this, I think this is the best advice, actually. Because if you say, oh, my son, uh, I advise you to work too much and to make too much money, it is not advice. <laughs> or I want you to work and be so powerful, that's also not advice. Good one, it is advice because you will be in front of your Lord Allah Almighty, a good one. And in the front of people, the people say, oh, look, this one, he is a good one. So this is the, the, his advice. I think this is uh, more than advice even. Alhamdulillah, we are keeping this one as today also. Like we are four uh, brothers and sisters now, two sisters, two brothers, that we trying to keep up the legacy of Maulana Sheikh Nahim to keep up the tariqah 
Rani, because uh, at the moment, Tariqa Naqshbandiya Aliyah become very wide. It's touching every country. Uh, we don't know the amount. Yani, we don't know the amount, but it's quite large amount. And at least we knock the door for all the murids, say, look, we are here, we're still continuing our legacy, continue our duty as Mawlana Sheikh Nazim, he is present. So this is Mashallah. one chapter of our life that been uh, very fast and very quickly uh, going on. small bag, I am taking and putting around myself a few plants and to be a green oasis. If anyone through deserts, they are uh, head up from deserts and tired and the best, the best people to come and to rest. A free rest place. That is my uh, Effort on nothing else. And he is going to send to you who should be able to collect not your bodies, physical bodies. It is, it is nothing. It is not important to collect your hearts. To collect your hearts, that is important. Only early years they may collect. How Sahaba, they were doctors, or they were carrying gold, they were quite carrying <laughs> dollars or marks with them when they are getting out from Medina in Munawwara, in Arden Hijaz, through East and West. They were giving money. What they were giving? They were giving from their love. And people running to love. People run to love. Without love, you can't follow anyone. And there was their fighting in our days that if anyone carrying from divinely love through their hearts, they are saying that is enemy. This is out of Islam. They are out of Islam. They are imprisoning people. Imprisoning people. You can't reach to them when you are going saying this side haram, this side bida, this side shirk, that side kufr. You can't move. If we are coming like this, not that bida, coming like this shirk. Coming like that, harap, like people, where we are going? No mind people. That. Italy, there was another one minute. No. Actually, Maulana Sheikh, he, he informed about this pandemic before he left. <clears throat> and he was saying it will come from China and it will come from the bat and it will be uh, this distributing in the wall and it will be happening. This He was, he, was, he informed all this before he passed away. Yani, there's, there is the videos uh, it, exactly saying today <laughs> yani. but uh, I'm also wondering uh, what he will be reaction like living in it so but normally before this one he was all the time telling the murids stay at your home 
your home is the safe area don't try to go out don't try to do night uh, uh, clubbing or something like this be a good one be uh, behave as a good servant so he was all the time saying to people especially don't go at night and now everybody at home <laughs> This is my brother, my father, and me. Uh, I think my age here about six or five. This is me and my father in Cyprus also. Uh, he gave me instruction and I'm listening. <laughs> Young boy. <laughs> This one, uh, my mother, my father, and my son, Mehmet Nazem, and my younger son, Nefi, and my daughter, Nurbano, she's in my arm. In my house, Amagusta. This is in Lefka. My father, he give his turban to my mom. <laughs> Here, in the wedding of uh, daughter of Sultan uh, Aslan Shah, brother uh, the Raja Ashman, sister, she is her wedding. My father, he was the honor guest for, for them in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Kansar. This is uh, Malaysia also in Palace of the Sultan. My father also uh, guest owner. Uh, next to him, uh, they take him for his uh, uh, seat as a guest of honor. Was and behind him is my mother. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Inshallah, you. This Thank you. Thank you very, so much. Very nice work. Thank you.